Here at PSG, we want to bring you the lore to your favorite video game or a timeline every Monday. And to kick it off, we're going to start with the storylines to one of my favorite video game franchises, Assassin's Creed. So to get to the beginning of it all, let's start with the storyline behind Assassin's Creed Origin. Layla Hassan is a historical researcher for the Abstergo Corporation and is searching for an ancient artifact in Egypt. She and her co-worker, Deanna, find a secret tomb with two mummies within. Layla decides to use the mummy's DNA to travel into the Animus, hoping that she can find the artifact and join Abstergo's Animus division. She sees 49 BC and she takes on the life of Bayek. A Magi, Bayek protects the Siwa Oasis. However, Bayek and his son are kidnapped by five strange men in masks and brought to a vault beneath the temple of Amon. Bayek is given the Apple of Eden in order to open a secret vault. Bayek and Kamu are trying to escape when Bayek accidentally kills his son while fighting one of the masked men. After this disaster in his life, years pass and Bayek has exiled himself from Siwa and his wife. He continues to track down the men that he believes are responsible for his son's death. And he finds the first, a man named Rudijak, who goes by Harem. But after the man's death, he learns that the priest of Siwa was known as Ibis and is torturing people in hopes of discovering how to open up the secret vault. After Bayak kills Ibis, he travels to the city of Alexandria, where he meets up with his wife, Aya. Aya reveals that she has already killed two of their other targets, those known as the Vulture and the Ram. With only one target remaining, Aya continues to search for the man known as the Snake with the aid of some very powerful friends that she has made within the city. Apollodros the Sicilian and Cleopatra. After learning that the snake is actually the royal scribe, Bayek is given a hidden blade and he sets out to assassinate him. Bayek uses this hidden blade but learns a small fault in its design when it chops off his ring finger when activated. Bayek believes that his mission is done but the snake's final words inform Bayek that there are others. Not merely the five masked men that him and his wife have killed. Bayek meets with the Sicilian and Cleopatra, learning more about the estranged masked men. The disposed queen informs Bayek that the five men that he killed belonged to a group known as the Order of the Ancients, and the Order disposed her from the throne and plans to rule over Egypt from the shadows. The queen points Bayek to four new targets, the hyena, the crocodile, the lizard, and the scarab. As he sets out to kill these members of the Order, Aya travels to convince the great Roman general Pompey to join Cleopatra and help aid them in taking back the country. Meanwhile, in the real world, Layla comes out of the Animus to discover that they are under attack by Abstergo, who believe that they've gone rogue when they failed to check in. After Deanna is killed, Layla manages to kill the rest of the mercenaries. She then returns to the Animus, vowing revenge against her former employers. As Bayek is given more targets, he becomes afraid that he is being used to eliminate those who oppose Cleopatra. After Pompey is killed by Lucius Septimus, Bayek and Aya have no choice but to sneak Cleopatra to meet Julius Caesar, gaining his support. After his rivals are killed, Cleopatra becomes the pharaoh of Egypt and Bayek and Aya are shocked to discover that Cleopatra and Caesar have sided with the Order of the Ancients. Realizing that they must be stopped, Bayek and Aya gather what allies and friends they have and establish a brotherhood known as the Hidden Ones to oppose the Order and its secret machinations. When Bayek and Aya learn that the Order has an interest in Alexander the Great's tomb, they travel to it. There they find Apollodros, the Sicilian, who warns them that Caesar's lieutenant, Flavius, is the true leader of the Order. He tells them that Flavius and Septimus have taken the Apple of Eden and a staff and they are traveling to Siwa to open up the secret vault. So, they return to Siwa, where it all began, to find the vault already opened. The two separate once again, trying to end the reign of the Order. Bayek finds Flavius in the city of Siren, where the cult member has used the apple to control the population. He manages to kill the man, freeing the people. And in Rome, Aya manages to kill Septimus and assassinate Julius Caesar. With the Order of the Ancients defeated, Aya warns Cleopatra to be just a ruler, or she too will feel Aya's blade someday. They meet up once again, but Bayek and Aya decide that there has been too much bloodshed in their lives, and they decide to part from each other. They decide to continue the work of the Hidden Ones, protecting the world around them. And with that, the couple goes their separate ways, beginning to build and train new assassins. Meanwhile, in the real world, Layla comes out of the Animus once again, as she's greeted by William Miles, who offers her a place in the Assassin Brotherhood. She agrees to work with them, but declines to become an actual assassin, and the two set off to continue their work. In the past, going into the DLC of the series, 
Four years go by and Bea travels to where the leader of the local branch of the Hidden Ones has requested his aid. Tahira believes that aiding the local rebels against the Roman army has exposed them. Seeing the situation, Bayak begins to kill three lieutenants in order to draw out a Roman general. Bayak is disturbed to find evidence that the Order of the Ancients is still active. The Romans strike back though, destroying the Hidden One's base and killing Tahira. Bayak is captured by the Romans and crucified. Luckily, he is saved by Amunet, formerly Aya, who tells him that he is risking the exposure of the entire Brotherhood. When General Rufio arrives, Bea and Anumet work together to kill him. They learn that the Order of the Ancients has been rebuilt and is active throughout the Empire. The Order now believes that the Brotherhood has to be destroyed, so Bayak begins to quietly rebuild and expand the Hidden Ones. Sometime later, Anumet once again contacts Bayak and asks him to look for the other piece of Eden in the city of Thebes. The area is haunted by the undead and Bayak learns that the two relics were taken from the nearby tombs. He believes that these relics could possibly grant the same level of power that Flavius displays and so he searches them out, where he finally finds the relics, attempting to return them to their final resting place. But he then discovers the tombs in the Valley of the Kings have been desecrated. He discovers that the true piece of Eden is being used by the Priestess of Amun, who has cursed thieves and revenge for her mother's death. Bayak then hunts her down and kills her. Returning the piece of Eden, he gives it to his friend to hide where it can never be found. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The entire purpose of this is to give you a short, condensed version of video game storylines so that you understand what happened within them and can jump into the next game in the franchise. You may recognize some of these as re-uploads from our Comic Story and Gaming channel, but we felt that this was a better home for them and we're going to be slowly moving them over. I hope you guys enjoy these and look forward to every Monday as we bring you the next chapter of this. Next week will be Odyssey, and the week after that will be Valhalla. And then we're going to be moving into the original Assassin's Creed storyline. So... Every Monday, hoping to catch you up on your favorite storyline within video games.